Rachel, you asked if, if she'd broken it or cracked the class ceiling. I think it's cracked. Um, I don't think it's broken. And, and I say this because I grew up in the Northeast, which is one of the two areas in the country where she's just about pulling level. She's, got a, she's pulled back 22 points. But historically, huge. Yes, it's, it's huge. But historically, people in the Northeast, and I know because I'm from there, would rather stick pins in their eyes than vote Tory. But, but I remember, I'm old enough to remember 1979, when just before Thatcher came to power, we had had the winter of discontent. There were the unions that had crippled the country. There were, there were rubbish was in the streets. The lights weren't on. And I remember saying to my father, what are you going to vote? And I was kind of young and voted Labour. And, uh, and my dad said, I'm voting for Thatcher. And I said, why? What are you doing? And he said, because she's a leader and she's going to fix things for now. And for now, we need a leader. And I think we're in exactly that position right now. I don't think the North East will stay uh, Tory. I think it will vote Tory this time. I think, I think that people are voting for now, for this period of time. Um, and I don't think it's permanent. And I think people in the North East will go back, uh, will go back to Labour when you have a credible Labour party. We've seen